Hey Squirrel Friends! In today's video I wanted to talk about how you can get into cosplay. This is something I am frequently asked. Uh, I know it can be really intimidating if you don't know much about cosplay. I know I put off getting into it for many 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 years. So I wanted to explain to you guys how I got into it and how you can start doing it. Right off the bat I'm going to tell you it pretty much starts with uh, imagination, creativity, stubborn will to get something done, lots of tears, lots of hot glue, and your goal. Your first cosplay is gonna be great. If you have all those things, you just mix them up, you're gonna turn out something pretty decent. I, can, I promise you that. For starters, I've actually only been cosplaying since about September 2017. Fan Expo Canada was actually my first con. My first costume was a foam armor uh, gender bent Bowser from Mario. Not Bowsette, but this is more so what I would have envisioned for Bowsette rather than thoughty ass Peach. And it might look pretty decent to the naked eye, but there are so many things I didn't know when I started and could have improved on. But anyways, cosplay is something that I wanted to get into every year when Anime North would roll around or Niagara Falls Comic Con or any of the local cons that I actually was aware of. But I was so intimidated by seeing other people's amazing work and being like, well, I don't know how to make anything. Somebody in my graphic design program in college was super into it and she would make the coolest things. And I remember always being so interested, but so hesitant. And it wasn't until Fan Expo after in 2017 when I had made a Halloween costume that I decided to wear it to the con. Here's my first cosplay. I mean, like it's okay, but if you looked up close, you would see like hot glue everywhere and um, I didn't prime the foam so it cracked and I didn't do a good job of heat forming the foam so it kept like, it didn't hold shape great and like, it, it's not like super super dope. And here's another costume I made around the same time. These were originally for Halloween and then I chose the one for the con because the Master Chief literally fell apart. And it's so funny because when I made that cosplay, I thought it was like so dope and so cool. I like I got so many compliments at the bar, which in retrospect were probably just from thirsty ass guys who were like, hey that girl and like Halo. Um, the whole thing fell apart after that night. Like dead ass was falling on the floor and shit. It was it was foam tiles I just ignorantly cut. I just spray painted all of green without priming, and then I literally hot glued shit to my shirt. So I mean, like, it looks okay in the photo there, but like, it literally cracked. So you're seeing white cracks everywhere and then hot glue everywhere. And uh, it literally just like fell apart and I threw all of it out, except for the helmet, which is obviously the only good part because I bought it. But I do want to remake that. It will make a great Throwback Thursday post or a Transformation Tuesday post when I show uh, hopefully an epic 3D printed, when I figure that shit out, full Spartan suit. And here's an example of the types of things that I am churning out now. Here is my uh, Mercy cosplay, which was something I never would have dreamed of. We got Sawin, we got Diane Warbler there, we got um, wings on a harness. Like we got a little bit of wig styling in there. Like if you asked me like two, three years ago, hey, could you make that? I'd be like shitting my pants. So we all start somewhere. So if I can get there, you can get there. You know what? I believe in you. You want to take this hobby on? You want to be crazy like me? You should do it. But I'm warning you, it is hella addictive. You're gonna spend a lot of blood, sweat, money, tears. You're gonna injure yourself. You're gonna stress out. But when you put that cosplay on and you know that you made it or you bought it or whatever, and you're like walking around, you, you, feel, you feel cool. You feel ace, son. That's why we do it. And for the internet links. All you gotta do, fam, you gotta pick a character. Choose your character. Pick a character you like, you like a lot, hopefully, because it'll encourage you to keep working through all the things that will stress you along the way, but you can do it. I would pick something overly complicated to start, uh, not some transformer with animatronics and moving shit and fire and smoke and all that crap. Even even I don't know how to do that crap, but that'd be cool. Maybe I should be a transformer. Gender bent bumblebee, anyone? Wait, he wouldn't have a gender, anyways. I like to make Pinterest boards with like dream character ideas. It's good to take inspiration from people who've done the cosplays or just board a bunch of characters to keep in mind. Uh, I've been doing this for years and I've, I keep making it all the way through my lists. I keep doing everything. 
um, that once upon a time I thought was way too intimidating to ever get done. Then you have to think of the path that you want to go uh, to make the cosplay. You can go to the thrift store. I've done that a lot for closet cosplays. You'd be shocked at how many perfect things you can find at thrift stores. It's like one of my favorite things. Out of quarantine, gotta get to the thrift store. You can buy a cosplay. I suggest buying from an actual cosplay site, not the crappy Halloween retailers, not Party City. You're gonna be paying like $80, $90 anyways for like a Wonder Woman costume. And you could pay like 120 at a cosplay site and it'll fit you better, I can guarantee. Those, those costume store costumes, they'd like never fit anybody proper. I mean like, I find that my, bot my body, I find that my body kind of matches the model's body, like, and they still have like shit on me. So who are these made for? Um, you can give a lot of custom measurements on most sites these days, which is super dope. So you can get something that fits great uh, and will actually hold up. Sometimes it is cheaper to buy a costume than to make a costume. When you add up fabric and like labor and everything, like damn. If you are buying something online, do your research. Do it. Look for reviews. This is why I write reviews, because you don't want to get bamboozled on some site where you think you're getting like this amazing Harley Quinn costume and it comes in and it's looking like Dollarama trash, okay? So, photo reviews, hashtags on Instagram, look at like from the, uh, their tags on these people's sites, YouTube reviews, you gotta look for it. Because there are times you will get something and it will look nothing like the photo. So you also have to watch for that if you were ordering anything from these cosplay sites. There's also nothing wrong with buying your cosplay. Uh, I know some people get kind of like snooty as soon as they find out you didn't make something. I mean, you can see the disappointment on some people's face and they go like, wow, that's amazing. Did you make it? And you're like, oh no. And they're like, oh, just, just ignore that. It's fine. My rule of thumb is if you can buy something cheaper than you can make it and it's actually like good and it suits your cosplay, you do that. You go buy that shit because End of the day, uh, we're making things by hand and stuff. I'm not a manufacturer, like, you're putting $200 into making a prop. That prop could break. You can go buy the same thing for 40 bucks at like Toys R Us or something. Do it, just do it. Another option for getting cosplay actually that I've come across in the last couple months is looking for local buy and sell cosplay groups. They exist, they're like those Facebook marketplaces, but for cosplay, People post some pretty cool stuff in there and for a fraction of the price that the original retail price would be. Uh, I've kicked myself a couple times because I've wanted to get something, but some girls jumped in before me and bought in like, for example, my baby doll cosplay that I did a review on, someone sold it for $40. I paid twice the amount and I'm sure it was in fine condition because a lot of cosplayers buy costumes, shoot in them and then sell them. So keep an eye out for those two. It's a great way to get a costume. Um, and you're gonna save a lot of money. Another option is you can actually commission people. Uh, there are wig stylists, there are foam smiths, there are people who 3D print things, there are seamstresses. It's a great way to support uh, people like artists and other cosplayers. And you usually get something of really good quality. You can always go that route, it's a good one. And lastly, you can make your cosplay. I like to make most of mine. I think it's really fun and it allows complete control and freedom. Your mind, you can create anything you can think of, which is pretty freaking cool. So if you're intimidated by that, you just have to look at reference photos of your character and then start realistically thinking about how you can make it. It's really helpful if you, there are patterns available online for sewing or for foam armor for your character looking at how other people did it. There's so many resources online, YouTube tutorials. I've made a few myself. You'd be surprised at what you can create if you just try. So for my first armor, I did that Bowser design. It was more so my own idea, looking at the way Bowser looked and then thinking about how I could replicate it. It started with me going to Walmart and buying those foam tile mats, uh, cutting shapes out that I thought would work and heat forming them so that they would actually stay in shape and using the like so much hot glue and so much velcro and honestly for a first cosplay it's not bad when you're first starting out hot glue will be your best friend and i will not judge you no cosplayer will judge you for using hot glue on everything i think i just started to get out of that 
like a year ago, not even. Uh, my sewing machine terrifies me. And hopefully in a year, two, three years, I'm gonna be looking back at this video laughing at the costumes I made this year. You will always improve. All you have to do is try. Don't be afraid to try new things. Definitely do your research. There are so many resources online. When I started, I literally didn't know about anything. I didn't know where to buy things. I didn't know that patterns existed. I didn't know you had to prime foam before you spray painted it. So everything cracked and looked kind of like garbage after, but it held up for the pictures. Definitely don't compare yourself to others. Uh, there are so many people out there doing amazing, amazing, amazing things. And it's easy to compare yourself and feel like you're not doing a good job because somebody else is, but you just, you will get better and you'll amaze yourself. And just take inspiration from those people. They're not your competition, they're your friends. A lot of the time cosplayers will help you out if you ask, but there's also so much online that you can use to help yourself, so. And hey, you watching this? You got a question about how to make something, where to get something? Shoot me a message, shoot me a comment. I will try to help you out. I wish I even thought to ask for help. I, I don't know, I was running around like a chicken with its head cut off when I started making costumes at all. I didn't even think to look for patterns or help on the internet for some stubborn ass reason. So I hope you guys saw this video as helpful. I hope it cleared up some questions for you as to how I started cosplaying. If you guys have any questions or you need any help, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.